Hey guys, what's up? This is Nymphadora here, and I am here to do a quick little tutorial on Stream Elements and Capogen. For those of you that have used Capogen, um, like me, and have come into Stream Elements and been really confused as to how it works, it's very different from how it used to work. But there are some elements that are similar. They've kept, um, they've kept the ability to choose what emotes and uh, you know all of that other stuff. But the way it's set up is a little bit different. And unfortunately, the tutorial that does exist that Stream Elements made is not very good. So I decided to make my own. Uh, so, first things first, log into Stream Elements. Uh, this will be your dashboard. And I will let you know the first thing you need to do is you need to mute your bot. You need to add the bot to your channel and then mute it. Because if you don't mute it, it will continue responding to things. Like, it will time people out. It will do stuff like that. Uh, because it's already set up to do all of that. And I don't, I use Ankbot, so I don't mess with any of this as far as that stuff goes. If you want to use Stream Elements as your main bot, go for it. I do not, so I can't give you any other tutorials other than this Capogen. But if you're like me and you don't want two bots repeating themselves, mute your bot. Because it will add quotes at the same time as your Ankbot adding quotes, and that gets really annoying. Trust me, it happened. But you can mute it so it doesn't actually, so it's actually not active in your channel. But it has to be in the channel for Capogen to work. So, go, so this is your dashboard. Come over here, you add the bot to your channel, mute it, yada yada yada. And then you go into overlays, go into my overlays. So mine's already set up and everything, but... Uh, this is what you do. Put in new overlay. It doesn't matter what game. It really doesn't matter what game that you put it in. Um, and then you can, I just named it Capogen. And then overlay resolution is 1080p. And hit submit. So it'll come up and then you hit go to overlay editor. So this is what you have after you do all that. You actually haven't added Capogen to it yet. Next you go to widgets and add Capogen. So you can import your settings from Capogen from the whatever your settings were. I tried to do that and it did not work for me. So I just did every I just played around with it and figured it out on my own. So you want to use the entire screen for the emotes. And the reason why I say that is because you can you come down here and change your position or change your width and height to 1920 by 1080 because uh, OBS is now 1920 by 1080. So this will fill your entire screen. In fact, I will give you uh, will emulate a follower event and so it'll show up on this screen and because I have OBS it'll also show up so now you guys are watching um, the different things but that means it's gonna be across the entire board and it'll actually fill the entire screen instead of a section of the screen so it, and you can also downsize it if you need to in OBS itself but you that way you don't have to try and center it or anything it's already centered it is 10 it's 1920 by 1080 and then you are good to go then you come up to here and you can choose your animation what animation you want you can choose which emotes you go you know you can show chat emotes or in a, enable emojis or make it subscriber only you can you know adjust all these settings you want to adjust then you can go to emote explosion emote explosions um and <laughs> sorry that was text um and then you can adjust how many emotes are shown and this is and then you can also decide you know 
okay, I don't want to, I don't want to have tips or I don't want it to go off for host. You know, you can decide whatever you want to do. And then you can go in here and actually select which emotes. So they have the option to have BTT global emotes, um, the Frank something emote. I can't remember what that's called. And then also Twitch global emotes. So you can add all the emotes you want or you can just have your channel emotes in it. So I use my personal, I have my subscriber emotes and then my BTT, BTT TV emotes, uh, which are the um, girl streamer emotes and then a couple of other uh, emotes. And that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Once you are done with this, you can save it. And then in order to, you can just launch the overlay and use this, just copy this uh, thing right here and do a browser, just, you know, your basic, here, I'll bring OBS over. Do your browser uh, source, you know, your CLR browser source and add it that way. And that's how you do it. I hope this helped you guys. I hope that it's a little bit, a little bit more detailed <laughs> than um, the regular one because I had a hard time too. Anyway, thanks guys.